New tech, an old grudge, and maybe a fan service cameo to boot. There's plenty to parse in the trailer for the third season of The Mandalorian. Grogu apparently has a brand new bassinet. While this might seem a little inconsequential in the grand scheme of things, what's interesting is that it seems to be that this carriage comes equipped with a few gadgets. There's a moment in the trailer in which the titular Mandalorian, Din Djarin, and Grogu are moving through what looks like a dark cave. A beam of light pops on from the front of Grogu's crib. Maybe Pelimoto has kitted out the floating pod with some adventuring gear, or perhaps Din's been tinkering with it in his spare time. And wouldn't you think there are some other handy hidden features? There's also a blink-and-you'll-miss-it shot of Dr. Pershing and someone else strolling through some kind of facility. Fans will remember that he's the scientist working on the cloning project for the remains of the Empire. He was last seen being forced by Jaren and Cara Dune to help break into Gideon's ship. Considering the Empire wants to use Grogu for its experiments, it might not be a good sign that Pershing is back. But maybe we'll find out more about what he was up to with all those dead clones. Sadly, the body rejected the blood. Further into the trailer, there are also some moody shots of a ruined Mandalorian city. Bo-Katan Kree stands in a long hallway that looks very similar to the throne room on Mandalore seen in the Clone Wars. That said, it also looks a little bit small to be the exact same location, unless it's gotten a makeover in the last few decades. It's not impossible that the shot just makes it look more cramped, or the throne itself was moved elsewhere after the Empire purged the planet. As for Bo-Katan, it's clear she harbors a grudge against Din Djarin for a couple of reasons. For one, calling out that the Children of the Watch caused a rift among the Mandalorian population. Then there's the fact that Din won the Darksaber from Moff Gideon, something Bo-Katan wanted to do herself so that she could rightfully take Mandalore's throne. As Pedro Pascal, who plays Din Djarin, hinted during an interview with Total Film, Din is clearly going to become a reluctant leader, which suggests he might have to fend off an attack from Bo-Katan. The trailer shows Din alongside a few other Mandalorians, each with their own unique helmets and armor. Perhaps the reluctant hero will add a few new members to Clan Mudhorn in Season 3. The trailer seemingly reveals a surprising appearance from a fan-favorite Star Wars alien, Babu Frick. It looks like the tiny Anzellan droid smith is back after his scene-stealing debut in The Rise of Skywalker. It's worth pointing out that Frick isn't referred to by name, so it could easily be another Anzellan with a talent for fiddling with droids. The character certainly looks and sounds like Frick, though. And wouldn't it be more fun for it to be him? Babu Frick? Can you help us with this? It's not clear whether Shirley Henderson, who's best known for playing Moaning Myrtle in the Harry Potter films, is reprising her voice role as Frick, but it's certainly possible. Who knows, we might even get to learn more about Frick's mysterious past. Henderson told Esquire that she's thought of a tragic backstory for the little engineer. Beyond the film, Babu has lived a life. Out there is a lost love. He thinks about her sometimes when he sits down in his workshop and lets his thoughts drift away. That's what I think, anyway. The Mandalorian is set well before the events of the sequel trilogy, so it's plausible that Season 3 will reveal more about Babu's life before he crosses paths with Rey and the gang, if it's him at all.